Hey, 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 wait! Princess Peach! Mario, over here, oh boy! The princess is alright, she's not even hurt. Uh, uh. Mario? So, it's all over then? I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all of this would happen? I did. Don't you dare apologize, my dear. It was all in a day's work for us. Hm. Thank you, all of you. Aha! Isn't this frankly? Aha! There you are, Mario! It is. Well, well, can you believe those brutes even came after me and old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about you, all of you. You have no idea. By the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece, too, so all is well. So, without further ado, take a look at this. Ooh, what's in it? I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. Oh, there actually was a treasure beside the demon's soul. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, frankly. No, don't bring me down now. It might be something great. It knows well that ends well. Now, how do we get out of this dang place anyway? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. Oh. Uh, I love this game. I'm sad it's over. But I'm also happy because I get to play Pokemon now. Yay! So, you're leaving then. Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. And I guess I cared about you a little bit, too. Aw, oh, Professor, we'd never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Eh, yes, that's right. And I thank you, Goombella. You're just the use most useless one. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget all about, uh, about us, all right? And we, in return, we will, will wish... <laughs> Fuck, I can't read. And we, in return, will wish that you find all the best in the future. Don't worry, Bowser will show up next Tuesday and kidnap her again! Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario, thanks to you, I found the courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. And I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. Well, I mean, you haven't seen him in ten years because you thought he died. It's also hard to put into words, um... But my dear, dear Mario, I am ready to make my comeback in the theater now. I found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we finish rehearsing, and bring Peach too, dear. Gonzales! Oh yeah, wait, I've gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzales to me, man. Because I was born in the Lutz Pit and Gonzales is and always will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzales. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I I feel I feel like I've grown up to love. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, never mind. Y yeah, I, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> I love Vivian. I I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So don't forget me either. That's so cute, though. She stays out of it. Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet will still gaze down at my broken bomb arm. But now I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see, any let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not stay say farewell. Because you're welcome here any time. And since you're welcome, you should come any time you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, Adua. I don't know that word, actually. Well, the boat's almost here. Mario! Oh, it's a punies! You bring me mushrooms.
Ah, uh, we made it just in time. Take this with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy. These are very fresh mushrooms. Why well, I ate them inventory is full. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Thank you. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into horrible darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace and saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but no- Okay, bless you, Dad. But know that the entire world is in your debt. What nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess. If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me hives. It's true. Ah, look, your highness, I see the boat! Toadsworth just wants to get out of here as soon as possible. Take care, everyone. Farewell. Mario would have either way come and stopped that shit. You know it. Oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. No. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I'm gonna miss all those guys. They were more interesting than the other partners. It's very true. Why can't Vivian come with us at least? Fuck everyone else. Just take- I want Vivian, Bobbery, and Miss Mouse. They're all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too, mu too many good memories of Rogueport. What with the kidnapping and all. But it really was- it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario. It was- I was very frightened when I, they took me. But, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help to help me as well. I, I always believed in that. Thank you, Mario. I- maybe I should listen to Toesworth and behave more like a princess from now on. So, you would have been fucked either way if Toesworth was with you. Toesworth can't do shit. Mario, look out there! Rogueport's positively shining, it's so beautiful! Look at that blimp in the background! <laughs> oh, Rogueport, I'm gonna miss it. It was a nice little rogue town. Is that the end of the game? Oh, wow, that's crazy, bro! You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro! And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yeah, yeah you me you the man, bro. I wonder that what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Oh. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your new fangled mail gadget? Oh. Dear Mario, what's- oh sorry, dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of Rogueport lore we still don't get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. With the info I've gathered, gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains the, a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what it was in the chest in the, the chest the professor rediscovered? Bleh. You're totally not gonna believe me when I tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> but I'll tell you the next time I see you. That, fuck you, Gumbella. I wanted to know what it was. As part of my research I did, go back to, to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him. Come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than you than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Bitch. Huh? What just happened? Flurry's back on stage. In a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. I don't think that was the word. Whatever. 
And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. I was totally, it was totally the best play ever. Is that Duplass? And somehow Duplass has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. I never fought a big boo. I may, I may have. I don't remember doing it. Oh, and little Shiggy? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to the title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzales Jr. In the right, in the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute, too, don't you think? Oh, and wait. I have to get this exactly right or he'll get me, get, like, so mad at me. He, uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Still, is that, isn't that too cute? I can't speak, Goombella. Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important, after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. Oh, and Beldum also promised me that she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Good. Fucking bitch. Yep, I think the three si sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Oh, fuck yeah. Bobbery and Cortez working together? That is the best thing ever. Bobbery goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul has healed. I ran to him on, on Kyoho Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on Kyoho Key as well, and they say hello. Miss Mouse is still running the badge shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. That was Miss Mouse the entire fucking time. I'm an idiot. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe trotting, mystery making, flirting little badge thief, huh? I never realized that was her. I'm so i I'm so stupid. We all knew that by now, though. Wait, Grotus is alive? Oh, yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty t tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on the mischief-making. <laughs> These are the worst redemptions ever. These people are fucking evil, and they're just like, oh, they're fine now. She's going there? Speaking of miracle survivors, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? <gasps> Tex alive? Yes! He says he really wants to see you in Peach again. He better. I'm so happy Tex alive. That just made me so happy. <laughs> well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. You didn't do shit besides the first chapter, Gumbella, by the way. And there is one thing that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express it to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. She likes me, too. Every female likes Mario. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. And what about Tech? Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Huh? Someone's here? Excuse me, sirs. Pear carry? Oh, it's just Toad's work. I got excited. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me... Please allow me to apologize for coming in unannounced, but was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day and found something rather amazing. It's another fucking treasure map. Yes, Toadsworth found the treasure map. Have you learned nothing? And I'm sure it will lead to the real treasure this time and just know it. So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? 
The boat's waiting for you. Um, Peach, have you have you learned nothing after being possessed by a demon? I had to call. I had to almost call the exorcist to get you out. I mean, whatever. Anyway, guys, that's a good place to end the video. I'm very sad that this game's over, but at the same time, Pokemon. I'll see you guys later, and join the League of Villains.